How you like my hat? It's new, along with a sweatshirt. Because I have news. Yes, it is an awesome Wednesday. It's been an awesome week so far. It's been a little bit stressful because there's so much going on, but it's been awesome. Hello, Chris and Connie. How are you guys doing today? I'm assuming it's both of you, but maybe it's not. Hi, Dan. Hi, Cecil. Anybody else? John David. Hello. Hi, Stephen. How are you guys? Dave. Awesome. Good morning, Keith. I'll do a few more. Hi, Ed. Someone said this was like the romper room good morning, so I just thought I'd go through a few more. Hi, Guy. Hi, David. Hi, Randy. You guys are awesome. Hello, Tim. So, yes, the big news. This hat needs some work because it's new. But I am now a member of Team Trigicon. It's like a Superman logo. It's like, yeah. I'm Trigicon girl now. I can't tell you how excited I am about this partnership because that means I have the golden ticket going into the Carry Optics division, not only with a Smith & Wesson M&P Core, but also with a Trigicon RMR. And it's awesome. Yes, that was a squeak. So yes, I am super, super excited about that and really, really stoked to be representing Trigicon because they're an awesome company and they make awesome things. And it's such an exciting time. So this has been a crazy busy week. There's so much stuff going on. Of course, you may have seen a picture of this. I finally got mine. It's so nice. Uh, I haven't even cracked the seal on it yet because I just want to just keep it the way it is. So I don't have to steal anybody's. I mentioned that last week about stealing somebody's for the NRA annual meeting, but um, I'm definitely going to try to get some more. And I know a lot of you have asked about how I can sign your copy. I'm going to try to figure out how to do that, the best way to do that, and put a blog post up with instructions. Um, but hopefully we'll figure that out. What's up, chicken mama? Speaking of chickens, I know y'all must think I'm very strange between the goats and the chickens and the farm life in general, but oh, we are adding to the flock tonight. <laughs> yes, we um, I'm very being very intelligent about my flock additions. So um, we have some chickens that are about a year and a half old and then some that are a year old and then we are getting 10 week old pullets tonight, which are just like young chickens. And, uh, and then I'm also going to get some chicks that a friend is going to raise so that I'll have these like staggered. It's crazy. It's going to be awesome. So yes, there will be more chicken videos in the future. So chicken videos and shooting videos. So thank you guys for all of the congratulations on Trigicon. I'm very, very, very excited about this partnership. Um, what's been going on today? Uh, a ton of laundry. <sighs> a ton of laundry because the secret to a happy marriage is making sure that your husband doesn't have to do laundry while you're gone. That's one of the secrets to a happy marriage. And uh, prepping for area six. If you guys haven't seen my event post, I posted here on Facebook, I will be shooting area six. It is a USPSA match in the Conyers, McDonough, Covington region south of Atlanta. Um, generally speaking, they allow spectators, if you've never been to a USPSA match before, you'll need to bring eye and ear protection, and then make sure you check in with registration in case you need to fill out any sort of paperwork, but you're free to walk around and look at the match, and it's it's going to be a fantastic area match. It's like 570 some odd competitors, like one of the biggest area matches or matches for USPSA other than the Nationals ever, so it is fantastico. And uh, I am shooting all day Friday. So if you are going to stop by, please feel free to say hello. I'd be happy to chat with you, shake your hand, meet you, all of that good stuff. Uh, I will be competing, so keep that in mind. So I need to make sure that I work my stages and that I get a good stage plan down. And of course, you know, shoot, because that's kind of what I'm there to do. But other than that, I would love to meet you. So please come on out if you're in the Atlanta area. It would be very, very fun. I did post that event and the details and the location and all of that stuff in my feed here on Facebook. So if you want to check it out, that would be awesome. Another thing that I am doing this season that I've talked about in past live videos is a project called Aiming for Zero, and it's with activeheroes.org. So every hit outside of the middle section of whatever target I happen to be shooting, uh, I am donating a portion or a, making a donation to 
aiming for zero and active heroes which is a veteran suicide awareness charity they have a really cool retreat near louisville kentucky and uh, they really do great things to help our veterans you know get the help that they need so that we can reduce and eliminate veteran suicide altogether so the information for that is fundraise.activeheroes.org and my team is <laughs> Team Julie G. And you can join my team and you can just make a donation. You can do whatever. My original goal was $500. I'm going to have to raise that because we are already at $431. So that is very cool. So if you want to check that out, that would be awesome. Or join me. You can donate 10 cents, a penny, whatever. Hey, penny, it doesn't matter. Um, just make a contribution. I know that they would greatly appreciate it if you're in a giving mood. So there is that. I'll also post the link in the link parts of this video. After this weekend, after Area 6, it is full on get ready for the USPSA Single Stack and Revolver Nationals. I have a package, like a big box of stuff from Smith & Wesson, including pistolas and rifles, and I'm very excited about that, that I will probably do a little bit of an unboxing with. And then I also got an amazing package from Federal with some of those fancy red bullets. <laughs> that I can't wait to try. Um, so lots, lots of goodies, and of course, some optics that I will also be talking about and testing out on the range. I, this is like May is awesome. The end of April, beginning of May, lots of stuff to try out. So I'm very, very, very excited. One last thing before I sign off the, if you are a fan of the love at first shot series, we did a little like mini, mini, like in between series, like season 2.5. Um, called After the First Shot that's going to be airing here really soon, right before the NRA show. So um, I will be sharing links as they come up, but it's really, really cool to be able to meet up with the various different students from Love at First Shot who have taken taken the next steps in the journey of their shooting experiences, and uh, I can't wait to share that with you too, and encourage you guys to keep sharing shooting as well. So. I have one more video to film here today before I get the finishing touches of packing for Area 6. For everybody traveling this week to go shoot, be safe, and I hope you shoot great, and I will see you live next Wednesday, if not sooner. I might try to do some live stuff in the range as well. So, you guys have a great one. Thanks, guys.